Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Jesse from TheMobSuit.com, also known as the Captain Curry Sauce, and with me I got my good friend Chris, aka The Mosquito. Now guys, do the ladies complain about the tiny little tubes that you hardline in your big cases? Well guess what, it's time to monkey up. The three quarter inch tubing. Today what we're going to talk about is how to tap half inch by three fourths acrylic tube. That way you can use a male to male rotary fitting to hook it up to a block or to another fitting if you choose that or if you want to. So that way, pretending this is like a block or a reservoir or something and you want to hook it up, that way it's easy but what this allows you to do is you can have a fitting which is almost the same size as your tubing so it gives you a very clean look and like we were saying that if you had access to the xspc male to male which look pretty much like these and that would create a very sleek you know there's nothing sticking out kind of a look yeah and the other nice thing too is that the smaller half by three eighths tubing is just I don't know. I mean, it works obviously just as well, but it just looks small. All right, so what we've got here is obviously a Raystorm CPU block, and just to kind of show off what we did a little bit better, we used a 45 degree angle here, just an XXPC. Pretty much anything will work. And then we used the male to male rotary adapter here, and that goes into the 45 and then into the end of the tubing. And it's just threaded straight into the tubing. The O-ring seats on the edge of the tube and keeps all of that watertight. And the reason we used rotary is because then you can still be able to screw it in yeah. to both of them. Otherwise, we're sitting there going, well, this isn't going to work because <laughs> now we have to spin the tubing while it's already on the fitting. And that's not going to work when it's on the block and on the radiator. And So up here, we just have the same thing again. We just have the male-to-male -male rotary going straight into the radiator. Yeah, it's just standard acrylic tubing. Got it from McMaster, just like all the other stuff. Yeah. Same stuff, just different size. And we bend it. We did bend it. We had to find the right uh, cord to use on the inside. We used what seven sixteenths inch. We got the half uh, the half inch OD bending cord, and that was too tight. So we went with a seven sixteen, and the bends came out pretty nice. With you know thick walls, because this is three fourths by half inch. I was surprised how clean it bent. Yeah, I mean, they're actually really clean. I mean, sometimes you get the, the stretching on the outside and yep. it sort of, you know, likes to buckle on the inside, but that actually went really well. And I mean, it just took a little bit longer. And I but, guess what really helped us was since we used a 716 bending cord, 716 OD, it was kind of loose on the inside. So bending it and taking it out was not a hassle at all. One thing to note though, is that if you do go with a half three quarter, not all fittings have deep enough threads to catch. Yeah. That is one thing that we found. So to get the job done, pretty much you just need two things. A G and a quarter BSPP tap. We got this one from McMaster. One thing that makes things a little bit easier is if you have access to a bench vise, you just clamp the tap in there. Then uh, get a little squirt of water, not Windex. Although Windex would work. I don't think you want to have Windex stuck to the tubing and in your loop. <laughs> hey, wait, but if you want Windex in your loop, it might make it look cleaner and clearer. There you go, clear tubing with made possible by Windex. Speaking of Windex. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then now this is kind of sometimes the trickier part is getting all of this lined up to make sure that you're going straight down the tubing with the tap. So you just kind of go slow, get it set and then just kind of keep eyeballing it from both directions to make sure you're not crooked. And then we found that it actually works better, or it's easier rather, to spin the tubing than it is to try and spin the tap into the tubing. And then all you really need to do is get three or four threads inside of the tubing. You don't have to go any further than that because that's about all the further any of the fittings will get in there anyway. And 
All right, and then now once you have your three or four threads in there, you just thread in the fitting, and you're good to go. The O-ring on the fitting gets compressed by the tubing, so you have a nice watertight seal. Chris and I were looking, or hoping we could find the XSPC, the new male-to-male. -male. Need a little bit more to grab onto. Yeah, these. compared to these. So these, it was a little harder, but if you had a better rotary fitting. Yeah, we ended up using a pair of needle nose pliers on a lot of them to, yeah. to actually get them tightened up, because otherwise we couldn't, couldn't quite get our fat fingers on one of them and not the other, but yeah. So we're kind of hoping for the XSPC ones, but those are now we're in stock. Hard to find. <laughs> Apparently they're a hot commodity. Of course, it probably won't make it any better either. Yeah. Crap. So technically, better stock speaking, up now. <laughs> technically speaking, XSPC or almost every cooling company has a hardline fitting. Yeah. They just don't know it yet. Yeah. Well, now they do. We just think it gives a unique look, and here at the Mozu, we like to do things differently. Using what we already more. have, so that is it. And I, if you have any questions on how to tab or thread the tubing, feel free to let us know. And if you have any weird ideas that you would like us to try out, let us know. Just no cooking with a yellow jacket and a mask. <laughs> yeah, cooking. <laughs>